Las Vegas, Nevada. Las Vegas, Nevada. I love it. There are so many MILFs, I can't even believe it. I've been scouting them out. There's this one over there. And she is all alone. I gotta be careful filming in here. I don't think you're allowed to film in casinos. But anyway, we're gonna walk up on this MILF. Look at this, there's tons of action. It's my first time in Vegas, I'm pretty excited about it. Hello, I'm sorry to bother you, but my name is Chuck and I'm actually doing a vlog, video blog. What's your name? I'm Lexi. Hi Lexi. Do you mind if I sit down and kind of interview you for my vlog? No, that's fine. Great. It's a travel vlog. Blog. Okay. Blog slash vlog. And uh, it's actually my first time in Vegas. Oh, welcome. Thank you. I'm a local. <laughs> You're a local. That's yes. exactly who I'm trying to meet for my travel, uh, you know, journal, video journal. It's because I travel all around the world Very and I try to meet, uh, you know, cool women like yourself. So tell me more about your vlog or vlog. Okay. Well, it's called Chuck's Travels. Okay. Just want to make sure you're nice and bright. I don't think I'm allowed to be filming in here because okay. it's a casino. Yes, there so, are strict rules about that. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> so if you see the security guard coming, say code blue. Okay. Code blue. Okay. Okay. Um, who are you texting? Oh, I was um, just texting my, I dropped my son off at my mother's house, his grandparents. Okay. <laughs> so I was just sending her a text to okay. make sure he gets into bed on time. It's pretty much past his bedtime, but he's a little rascal, so I'm just out here killing time. So you're a mom. Yes, <laughs> single mom. You look amazing for a mom, like amazing. Aww. Were you like super young, pregnant, or? Um, yeah. Well, he's he's still two, so okay. he's pretty young. So you, he's just a baby. Yeah, he's a baby still. <laughs> um. Well, my vlog isn't really about the babies. It's about the. The mamas, oh, baby mamas. Baby mamas. <laughs> you are beautiful. You know you're very photogenic or videogenic, I guess. Because here, let me turn the viewfinder around so you can see yourself. Did you do your own hair and makeup? Um, I did my own makeup, but my friend did my hair actually. You just come out looking like this. It's incredible. <laughs> you, know, you look really good. Do you do you work out? You like seem really like strong calves. I do yoga. You do yoga. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. I do racquetball. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's mm -hmm. So if you really, I mean, if you really want to uh, travel around the world, and uh, I don't really have much to say. I was just kind of talking as that security guard walked by. Was he eyeing us? He was eyeing us, wasn't he? He didn't see anything. Is he? Okay, no. okay. He's Maybe gone the, now. Good. Hopefully this camera is incognito enough. <laughs> Does it just look like it's part of my shirt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe didn't even notice. Um, well, I really appreciate meeting people like you. They're local in the areas I travel to, willing to participate, get interviewed on video. It's great. So I'm really glad to meet you. Um, do you mind if I ask just some personal questions about your life? Sure. Okay. Ask away. Where did you go to high school? Oh, jeez. Oh, what, what state? What state? Um, California. Cal oh. When? But uh, I spent some time out there in my high school years. Yes. Um, but I was born here. <laughs> or grew up in the area. So you're born in Vegas, moved to California, and moved back here. Yeah. Cool. Welcome home. Thank you. Did you enjoy your time in Los Angeles? Or was it Los Angeles or where in California? It was the Los Angeles area. Yeah. Okay. Did you party hardy? Party hardy in high school? Um, I did my fair share of partying. I think I went through like a fast rebellious stage and then I quickly like got to the straight and narrow. I'm not so much a wild party girl. I'm more of the, I like to read and go to bed early and tuck my 
hidden before he goes to sleep at night. <laughs> well, I, I don't see a. Can I see your hand? Yeah. No rock. No. What's going on with the baby daddy? He's not married to you? Baby daddy is a deadbeat. Ugh. Tale as old as time. Yeah, he left town. Never hear from him. Total loser. So sorry to hear doesn't that. Doesn't deserve me. No, he doesn't. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, well, our life is better without him. <laughs> I'm not sad about it at all. I dodged a bullet. Okay, good. Yeah. Here's to that. <laughs> all right, back to the personal questions, okay. Did, when, okay, don't get offended. Okay. But this time you moved from here, um, you probably went to middle school here and then high school there? Yeah. Did you lose your virginity here or there? Um, there, in high school. I was 16, which is like average. You were 16 when you lost your virginity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, this is actually, I'll be honest with you, the vlog is about female and human sexuality. Oh, really? So it's it's good that you're open to answering these kind of questions. Well, I do like topics of female sexuality. Good. <laughs> then you and I are going to get along really well. Um, so you were 16. What happened? How, how did you lose it? To whom? Uh, my boyfriend. And we've been dating for three weeks. Oh, three whole weeks? <laughs> three whole weeks. And he was like, babe, I think we should have sex. <laughs> and I was like, put it on me. <laughs> put it on me? Or put it in me? Put it in me. <laughs> Whatever the like 16 year olds say, I can't remember so long ago. Did he use a condom? No. <gasps> he was my boyfriend. Well, I don't like to use condoms either. I'll tell you something personally about me. But I get tested for STDs every two weeks. Yeah, I get yeah. tested regularly too. Really? Good to know, good to know. Active, but I will, like, after an encounter, for sure. So you're not very sexually active right now? Right, correct. It's been, like, over a month. <laughs> yeah. For 2018, that's a long time. <laughs> and it's not like before that we're super regular. It's kind of like... Sporadic. Mm. I mean, mm. that's the life of a single mother. My child first. Okay, but you know, you gotta put yourself, give yourself some stuff too, you know? Yeah, I guess that's why I meandered out here this evening. I I didn't really have any plans, but I thought I would get something to eat and see yeah. what's happening in the casinos. Well, I'm glad you picked this casino. Yeah. Because I'm otherwise wouldn't have met you. <laughs> well, let me just ask you, uh, you know, a couple more questions about high school. Was it more like drinking house parties, drinking in the woods, smoking pot? What What was the scene? What was the party scene? It was, um, I went to kind of a upper middle class high school, even though my family didn't have a lot of money. Um, and so there was a lot of house parties where and, and big homes where the parents were gone for the weekend and they kind of like hit, hit, nudge, nudge to their child where they like were actually kind of condoning the whole thing, but also at the same time saying like, be smart about it. It's just good because I always had a safe place to like hang out or party. Um, never really at sketchy places. I always, friends of friends kind of thing. Well, anyway. The reason I ask is, looping it back around to the sexuality, did you experiment in these parties with group sex, girls, boys, or did you just keep it one-on-one -on -one with a dude? Wow, I wish I could say I got that wild and crazy, but I think I still have a lot to learn. <laughs> um, you know, mostly just a guy I thought was hot at the party, but I would like love to explore more of my sexuality and I'm very open-minded too. Really? Yeah. Do you, well then I'm just gonna ask straight out, do you like to give blowjobs? Um, yeah, I love giving blowjobs. <laughs> you, you said love? Yeah. Wow, most women just kind of do it out of, you know, to be nice, but you actually enjoy the act. Yeah, I like to please the person that I'm with, that turns me on a lot. Wow. Mm -hmm. How about when someone goes down on you? Yeah, but I love that too, but I love giving even more. Really? Yeah. You're a giver. Uh-huh. 
wow, you're my kind of person. <laughs> this is really, I'm like, this is my lucky day. Oh, yeah. I'd like to take it to another level. Could we continue this uh, uh, interview upstairs in my hotel room? Have you ever been to the Hard Rock Rooms? No, I haven't. They're really nice. There's a sweet view of the pool area, and there's, like, um, cool drapings. It's just really comfortable. It's really comfortable. But, look, I got, the li I got everything set up up there. I was, I have to be honest, I was kind of looking for the perfect subject to interview. Okay. But as part of my interview, I would definitely like to explore your sexuality like I would, <laughs> I would love to eat your pussy <laughs> wow I would love to fuck you oh my um I know it's probably you know you're not used to this kind of thing but do you want to fuck me yeah I think I'm open to that idea I mean why the fuck not I just go home and read by my bedside table anyway <laughs> YOLO right YOLO yeah Definitely. YOLO. Yeah, YOLO. <laughs> okay, I just want you to know that when I eat your pussy, I want you to come on my face. Okay. I want you to come on my face. Like, have an orgasm as I'm licking your clit. And then you'll come on my face. I could do that, too. <laughs> I could definitely do that. Okay. I mean, I am filming, you know. I've never... It is a movie. <laughs> I can't believe you're talking about this right in the open. Wow. You see any security? You see any security? <laughs> no. I'm gonna fuck you so good. Oh my god. Okay. Why? Why not? Let's do it. And you're tested, right? I don't yeah. like to fuck with condoms. And I'll show you my test. Yeah. Here, let me I show you. Test. I'll show you on my phone. Check it out. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll make sure the coast is clear. Okay. See that? Yeah. Clean. Very, very good. <laughs> Has anything like this ever happened to you before? No. No? I'm so excited. Me too. Let's go. Do you like doggy style? Yeah, doggy style's my favorite. Maybe that maybe we'll start with doggy style. Okay, let's do it. Alright, let's go. Let's do this interview for this vlog. <laughs> wow, I can't believe I agreed to this. I can't believe it. <laughs> Let me help you up. I got oh, you're already up. Oh. You're already up. Alright, well let's go to the elevators. This is incredible. You don't even know. You don't even know what you're in for. <laughs> Which way do we go? You're real. <laughs> well, I know I'm at the Paradise Tower. No, not. I'm at the Casino Tower. Oh, okay. Whatever that means, Casino Tower. Yeah. Nah, hard dog. Not film these people. All right, I'm gonna turn my camera on when we get up to the top of the elevator. I don't want all these people getting freaked out that I'm filming them. All right, this is the floor. Ooh. Wow, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> don't be nervous, I don't bite. I don't usually do this kind of thing. Neither do I. Well, I mean, I do my podcasts regularly, but, <laughs> you know, they're not always sexual. But other than that. They're not always sexual. This is a really nice hotel, but it's very low light. It's hard to focus on you. Oh, okay. You're so pretty. You're so pretty. Thank you. I can't believe I met you. I feel like the luckiest guy <laughs> in the world. I'm excited for our rendezvous. Little tryst. This is it. 36. Oh, very neat. Why don't you do the honors? First time at the Hard Rock Casino, even though you're a Vegas local, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. 